preventive work of vector control. Okay. Because uh, we go outside, collect the samples, and then we we do some analysis about index of infections, infestations. It's actually called index of infestations in the houses, and then we will know, for example, which communities have to have better control efforts. If there's still, if it's a lot of insects inside the houses, and also here we will confirm if this, because you can have a lot of insects in the houses, but it could be that some of them or most of them are not infected with the trypanosoma cruzi. So after this, we will also confirm if these areas of these communities are still is to have high percentage of infe infe infections with the trypanosoma cruzi, and also we can have an idea of the chagas disease. But all of this work is only vector control. Every year we come we come to the communities and we go to the, all these three communities that have been focusing in the last few years, and we try to uh, collect the vector, do surveillance and uh, also do some um, interchange with the students. We bring students from Ohio University so they can have the experience also to work here in the community so learn about it. So we get the samples from the field. This is from the entomology, entomology group. They all go in the fields, they visit the houses, also the very domestic area and also the sylvatic area and they do collections of triatomines, the bugs that we call them. Here we call it chinchorros. So these chinchorros are collected here with all the information because we want to keep information uh, from all the collecting points like the communities, the place, uh, where is it from, the habitat, if it, if it was collected from a mama or a gallina and then the species of the triatamine and the date. And then here we kill them first. Here we extract most of the we extract most of the parts, the body parts, because we're going to do analysis with morphometry and also some DNA extractions for other, for other uh, researches. And uh, then we pass it to the hood, this is station two, and inside that uh, hood, um, this, is a, this is a cabin that we use, it's a sterile, sterile all inside. We collect uh, intestinal content for, to make the parasite grow, and also uh, we do, in the final one over there, we do microscopy when we confirm if it's movement or not, if it's uh, positive for the trypanosoma cruzi. So sometimes we have things that the threatening is not infected. So that station over there helps us to determine if, if the vector is carrying on the parasite. And then we'll have an idea also on the percentage of infections that we have in the area or in the communities. We have so many samples, we have live insects that we have to try to analyze as fast as possible so they don't die. We don't want these colonies that we picked from the houses or from the sylvatics area to get lost. So it's very intense. We have to analyze sometimes more than 30 or 40 samples per day. And so far we have around 100 samples analyzed in three days. So yeah, we have to do it very fast. So we don't want to lose the information because if the bugs die, then we won't have any analysis on it. <laughs>